This game is really messed up and is intended for mature audiences only. If you feel uncomfortable or you do get triggered, I highly recommend that you stop this video. This game is called Fear and Hunger and it was recommended to me by my friend Connor. I assumed he was just making fun of most of my adult life, but it turns out it's an old school RPG that is extremely difficult and it sounds right up my alley. But how hard could it really be? I mean, come on. I am I'm a gaming wizard after all. Let the carnage begin. So there are four characters to choose from. Mercenary, thief, assassin, whatever brings the silver to the table. Knight with pure and righteous ways of the warrior. Dark priest, bearing no burden on such things as morality and ethics. Gives dark priest an edge in blood magic. Outlander, hardened in the freezing winds of the north. Outlander is the epitome of survival. I feel the mercy Mercenary is very, is very peaked, don't you? Look at him, he's got the same hair. That's me. I'm gonna say his name is Marco. If you are playing this game for the first time, do me a favor and do the fear and hunger mode first. Do not choose the other option because it's really, it's way more painful and frustrating. And believe me, the fear and hunger mode is already more difficult than I expected. You were born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for fear freedom. You had to choose at a very young age to either become a pickpocket, a burglar, or try to struggle and lead an honest life. Ooh, I think I'm a burglar. The crude streets of Jetaya teach you valuable lessons. You learn lock picking. Skills are something that you can learn throughout the game, and you can learn them in a variety of ways, and some skills can only be learned by the path that you choose in the intro. The skill that I acquired are lock picking, escape plan, and dash. Both escape plan and dash are my most valuable skills as I use the escape plan a lot in this game because it helps me run away in battle. And dash just helps you move at double the speed than normal and get away from monsters that happen to be chasing you. So basically, my whole thing is running away. <laughs> the dungeons of fear and hunger. Fear and hunger has a cool concept where all four characters have a personal reason for entering the dungeon. My character, the mercenary, goes into the dungeon to get a huge score of money to finally pay off all of his debts and get out of the mercenary business. His mission? Save Lagarde in the dungeon, a very important political figure that factors into the story of this game. A dead horse is laying down here. Based on the stage of decomposition, the horse had been dead for approximately one week. You feel your sanity decline with every passing moment. You search the barrel for anything useful and you find two carrots. Every single crate, box, and barrel contains items, and they're all randomly generated, so you always have a chance to get something, like, incredibly amazing, or a terrible item that's completely useless. A stench of death and gore fills the damp air. You hear the voices inside your head. Come and find me. Let the blood flow. You could open the door with lock picking. Oh, come on! What do you mean? That's the whole thing! What a lock picker I am. Maybe, can you talk to these guys? They don't seem aggressive. They're aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we could talk to them. The party tries to escape. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run, 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 run. All right, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. We got some big honkers. This room feels somewhat safe. Hey, a save point. All right. Easy save. After I tear the blanket. Cool. You feel a bit rested, even though you had trouble in your dreams. It felt like someone was watching while you slept. This room doesn't feel safe anymore. Ah! Here, we are finally introduced to the battle system of the game. Fear and hunger monsters should always be treated as boss battles, because defeating them can be a puzzle. When it comes to a guard such as this one, it's best to avoid them. But in case it's too late for that, then normally you should attack their limbs and attack their torso or their head for the final blow. I feel like one more swing and we're gonna, we're gonna knock out the arm. We did not. We are dead. Who 
hold it. You just hold it right there. Even if I may seem winded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two. So don't get any ideas. This is the Heavy Knight, one of the NPCs that you can interact with. There are many NPCs in this game that you will meet and sometimes sell you an item that can be very helpful or not. And some give you information that can help you, such as this Heavy Knight named Sir Seymour, who will give new players tips on how to win in combat. Need tips for survival. Try to shake the balance of the enemy first. Maybe attack their legs and only then go for the finishing blow when you know the enemy won't be running around wildly anymore. Patience is definitely a virtue in combat. The table has some old weapons lying around. Now we are introduced to a core mechanic of this game, the coin toss. If you predict the coin toss correctly, then you will be lucky in your situation and its outcome. Tails never fails. Bruh. Well, <laughs> tails never fails twice. Hey! You find an eagle crest shield. The shield has an insignia of an eagle and a sword. Now, my priority is to regroup with the crown prince, Prince Ludwig Buckman. Ludwig's in this game too? I can't escape this man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop the left leg because then he won't be able to, 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 well then we're- I lost my- arm and there's no way to get it back you lose one leg it's not a big deal you lose both legs i highly recommend you restart instead if you lose an arm you can't use a shield and if you lose both arms you can't use your sword losing a limb is a big deal and it can happen very quickly wait the arm is gone before we continue, I want you to meet Mr. Rusty Nail, my most hated thing in all of the world. And, unfortunately, my cannon event. I stepped on a rusty what? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hey. Off! Come on! He was supposed to follow- Alright. Ah! How the f- Oh, I see it. The nail is on the floor. Oh! The doll gives you chills, and an eerie vibe can be felt from it. You take the peculiar doll. Oh, f God damn it! Well, I don't know who put that shit there. Seriously. I still got one hand, though, guys. Watch this. Oh! Ah! All right! We got him. Just chop his head off. Welcome. Who the f You find the captain's diary. The high priest demanded that we give them our prized prisoner, the captain of the mercenary army, Lagarde of the Midnight Sun. Lagarde was transferred to the lower levels below the mines. I have no idea what is the purpose behind this. Nothing good can come out of it, but orders are orders. What bird can withstand the mighty winds without its wings? Ah! Ah! We talk. In madness, we will shriek like a fellow cave mother. You try imitating a cave mother. Tilts its head in confusion. At least we have our hands back. Oh, come on. Should have done that. Oh, what the f What? He was already dead! I'm armless again. I can't even investigate. Okay. <laughs> oh, the nail. Oh, God. There's no need for killing! There is no need! My feeling is better to leave those guys alone. Oh, shit! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Watch this. I got this one with my bear trap. What's wrong? You don't have any legs! Alright, alright. Now watch this. We just go right for the head. Don't swing! Oh, come on. Ow, oh, the nail! Found a small key, okay. Oh, man, that nail every single time. But look, now we can win this cool thing. 
Heads is for winners. You find the scroll of wizards. I got greater blood magic. Someone or something is walking towards this room. How? I could have sworn. Stupid mind. Stupid mind. Must have been the wind. Uh, do you guys, like, put arms back? They will create an idol out of a- you try starting a conversation. What are these dungeons? These dungeons are one of the last places where a man can still meet his creators. Okay, they use their heads to chant, so I'll use my head to protect. It became dark. You feel a terrible menace, and that is the last thing you feel. Really? Like that? Marco is doing well. I think I have a plan. Watch. Ah. Stupid mind, stupid mind. All right, so now we know that that is what he's always there. So we're figuring out some of the stuff. He's always gonna be there. And I saw him go this way. You're a sane one, right? D don't stay in the doorway. You'll give us out if someone sees you. What are you doing here? Well, what? Hiding, of course. Who'd have guessed that a piss-stained cell like this would be one of the safest spots in this dungeon? I don't know what business you've got here, but if I were you, I'd run out as fast as possible if escaping the place is even possible anymore, that is. Tails never fails. Ha! Whoa! <laughs> I've been blessed by the old gods. Sh sh sleep well, my sleeping beauty. Truter, you filthy animal! It's no end to your cruelty! A quiet, you pig. Just be glad I've found someone more interesting than you. Yes, this will do. You don't need your legs, do you? Yes, I do. Well, not anymore, that's for sure. Don't you just love the trembling of pain? You know, arms disgust me, especially li Shut the f- Shut the f*** up! One detail in your work of art. Let's remove your sinful- NOT MY PINE CARD! Ah! There, a lot better. Now you are beautiful, like me. Okay, I guess that's a game over. Look, here's the good news, Hilo Tape. We're not going to step on the nail. <laughs> no, 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 we got this guy. We got this, watch. Choppy chop, stingers pulsating. We run, we wait, we smack beef. Other leg. We run again. You can't catch us. Now we chop its head. Hold on. <laughs> ah, come on. What happens if you chop its stinger? Okay, now it won't slap me with its its donger. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, that was huge. We had to take the pine cone. It was basically like a third leg keeping him up. Over here, we're gonna we're gonna flip our coin and we're immediately going to win. Tails never fails. Bang! You want me kill? Alchemelia Volume 3? Don't mind if I do. A wretched looking person walks out of the shadows. You attack him straight away! Uh, who in the hellest, low, lowest hell are you? <laughs> I'm Marco. What's up, Troter? Remember me? Cause I remember you! <laughs> Looks like you don't need those beautiful arms, do you? <laughs> How about your feet? You can still surrender and be a good child. I need new text subjects. I, 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 I am a doctor, you see. Uh, test subjects for what? You, you shall see, you shall see this new world of pain and Suffering the limits of human flesh. Time to die! Don't underestimate me. I've fought more intimidating foes in my past. <laughs> there we go. We took him out exactly the way that he screwed me over. That was so satisfying. 
Now I can talk to my buddy. You, you, you managed to get rid of that wretched torturer. Absolutely magnificent. But the dangers of this dungeon don't end here. Ah, you are heading towards the darkness. I, I apologize, but not this time. I'll catch my breath here for a while. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right, all right. Ah! <laughs> to all gamers planning to play Fear and Hunger in the future, a warning that this game will make you come to madness at some point. <laughs> sacrificial circle for the elder gods to appease gods or gain favors from them. This is the place to offer your gratitude. Gro Goroth, the destroyer of men, yearns for human sacrifices. Sylvian, the god of fertility and love, wishes nothing more than an act of love in her name. I'll show my love. You don't have anyone to make love to but yourself. Loving yourself <laughs> It's been a long day. It's been very stressful. You find a small booklet under the guest book. You take the Book of Fears with you. The Book of Fears and Phobias. Phobias are an important concept of the game that you should keep in mind when battling other creatures. You can know that your character has a fear of an enemy with an exclamation mark that shows up on the bottom of the screen. Every character has a different phobia. And what this does is when you battle that character's fear, for example, my character, the mercenary, has a phobia of necrophobia, which is the fear of death and, and all corpses. When you find those enemies, you're going to have a minus 50 evasion rate and you're going to take a 50% more physical damage from that enemy. There seems to be a little girl inside the cage. She is hiding her face from you. You could open the cage door with your lock picking. The girl is staying quiet. I find this game to be very interesting so far. Uh, it's also... Oh. You search the bookshelf for anything useful. Sometimes, though, you need heads. This book feels very special and has a hefty weight to it. Its macabre leather coverings look irresistible. You feel a twist inside you as you take the book from your satchel. You feel great urge to open the book, but at the same time, you feel like the consequences might be terrible. That's later. The Book of Medical Science, the Book of Anathemaia, a collected knowledge of Homer of episode. Another important concept in Fear and Hunger that you should know about is the symptoms effects or status effects. These are different inflections that enemies, foes, traps, rusty nails, really just the nails can have on your character and party members. Players should be aware of this effect as it can render the player unable to fight or cause permanent problems or even a game over or permanent death. These effects are partially listed in the book that I can't pronounce, Anathomia. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Tails, 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 tails. Never fails, fails, fails. Yes. So now, now I can read the ancient book. It turns out that this book is the very book many legends tell about. It goes by many names. The Rites of Madness, Al-Azif, the Testament of Gro Goroth Ex Mortis, and the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. One of the main themes of the game is gods, and we will encounter them a lot in this game. The way we get information about the gods in this game is from books. Some of them we will get randomly, some of them we will get easily, and some of them we will not get at all because we lost a coin toss. There are three main gods in this game. Grogoroth, Sylvian, and all Myrrh. And these gods are mentioned a lot. Grogoroth is the destroyer of man, Sylvian is the goddess of love and fertility, and all Myrrh is the ascended god. Grogoroth blesses you with new blood magic. You learn hurty as as you finish reading the book, it crumbles into dust before your very eyes. Go, 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 where else can we go? Is that part of the fun of this game is figuring out all of the, the different paths? Oh my, I can't believe that. Oh yeah, these guys. We're gonna fast attack and we're gonna chop off the arm. Uh, uh, 
The girl is holding her head and shaking visibly. She seems hesitant in continuing at all. Is something wrong? The girl is looking at you with teary eyes. She looks to be in complete shock. Try to hold on. We have to be strong. Your words seem to comfort the girl at least to some degree, and she nods to you. Oh, yeah. We gotta hurry. Oh, hold it. How, eh? This is Rag... This is Ragnvalder. Rag... Ragvindaller. Ragvalder? Ragnvalder. Anyway, he's the Outlander and one of the playable characters. Tell me, are you evil? No. Only time will tell. You'd be surprised what you're truly capable of once you stay long enough here. If I were you, I'd try to escape these ancient walls by any means necessary. And for your sake, I hope our paths do not cross again. That is the Outlander voice. It's, uh... I'm just trying my best. There's a simple dagger lying on the ground. It reminds you of your childhood. It might be a suitable weapon for children. You give it to the girl, and she seems surprised. She seems like she's not used to the kindness of any kind. In any case, the girl seems excited, and she got a dagger. F*** it. Oh god. We fell into the shit pit. Oh no. This game is truly brutal. It gives you the option to jump into a bathroom pit. And believe me, this is a very shitty idea to do. I have no other choice other than to restart the game from my last save point. The Wait, did you see that? Okay, f it. Uh, I can't! This stupid, rusty hell! I'm so lost. This game is very big. Uh, okay. Oh no! It's this, it's right past this prick in here. I, I swear. There! It's this thing. That's where the stupid th thing was. There it is. New area! Oh, oh! I forgot, we also have the, uh, the passages of Mahabre. The ancient city fills the landscape with all its crooked towers. You see forms taking shape in the sunlight. You recognize the forms as the new gods. Francois, the dominating one, looks at you with an intense look in his squinty eyes. He seems humored by your presence in this ancient landscape. You can almost feel a sense of nostalgia from his twisted smile. The tormented one notices you. What he wants from you remains a mystery. No, no. Heads. Yes. Empty scroll. No, open it. Still, that was good. That was good. Oh, it's this place. Oh, no, no, don't break it. Okay, last time we got attacked by the, uh, the hedge, the hedge mother. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? There's some old writing here, but it has faded because of the time and the moist air. Save. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I got greedy. No! Ah, oh, it was my fault. It was my fault. The attack that I'm using is called Black Orb. I obtained these spells through the ancient book, and it became my main attack throughout the game. What? Well, I thought we killed that thing! I thought we killed it! Shh! Ha! Oh, God. Oh, God. You're grabbed by its sticky grasp. You can feel the tongue's muscles tense. No. No! Oh, what's this way? We never got to go. Oh, shit. Can we, he looks, but he's a dog. Dogs in games are good. Can I give you food? Nope. Ah, doggo! Easy join. See, dog is always good girl. Good girl. Well, hello there, stranger. How are you doing on this? <laughs>
wonderful day. And what is so wonderful about it? A, a new day <laughs> brings new challenges. What are you doing here? Ah, straight to business, huh? Enough small talk. Fair enough. I'm a merchant of sort. I sell precious items and weapons for those in need. The funny thing is, though, I don't want your gold or your silver in exchange. I will trade items for human children. Bring them to me, and I'll make it worth your while. My pockets are very deep, you see. that. You notice a person kneeling in the darkness. The person doesn't seem to radiate immediate danger or aggression, and your presence seems to remain hidden. You step out of the shadows. No, oh, new visitors. My name is not Romus. I'm an alchemist. You cannot quite tell if the alchemist is a woman or a man. Something about their stature seems almost otherworldly or ancient. It's nice to meet you. The white-haired alchemist gives you a smile that seems almost too genuine. My apologies. I left a kettle on and I'm in a bit of a hurry. Let's meet again. The person disappeared into the darkness. The echoes of his footsteps sound distant before vanishing completely into the moist air. Uh, we're not gonna do either sacrificing or love, because last time I chose love, I masturbated into the thing. And I hesitate to see what would happen, given the circumstances of our current party. So we're not going to even try. But I do want my revenge. I'm pretty pissed about- Oh, yes. Oh, you remember me? You remember me, Bozo? Cause I'm not through with you yet. Yep. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I s there it is. We got it. I am extremely proud that we were able to take that beast down. Because you know what? F that guy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, look at this. What do we have? What do we have here? There is an old armor lying here. There seems to be something underneath the armor. Uh. No. Oh, God. Okay, that was bad. Moonless peed on the dead girl, and we we fought this piece of armor for absolutely no reason. You're telling me I fell victim to greed. That's what happened. All right, watch. We need the dog. Yes. Me. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That was like as good as you could want that to go. This is a hexen table, one of the ways that allows players to unlock spells and skills relevant to the chosen character. I never really used it because I didn't figure it out. There are human heads impaled on a tribal spear. The heads are aligned in a way that is meant to intimidate passerbys. You could just turn away and not take part in this. <laughs> he bit his dick off. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. This is Dars. She is the knight and one of the playable characters you can choose from the start of the game. I'm part of the knights of the midnight sun. Her face starts to radiate the moment she starts talking about the knights. I stepped down to this darkness to save my captain. The captain of the knights of the midnight sun. Maybe you've heard of his name? It's Lagard. I would gladly join your party until I can fulfill my mission here. So I feel like we have a really cool team. I am very satisfied. I would like to save my game. Oh god, she's still having mental breakdowns. Try to hold on. We have to be strong. Her eyes stare at a distant. Your words don't seem to comfort her. So it goes. One less mouth to feed. 
I imagine that the that girl is a really important part of the story that I did not do correctly. As it turns out, the girl is important depending on the ending that we want to get. There are nine different endings in Fear and Hunger. Some need the girl, some don't need the girl. However, she can also be used in a variety of different ways, such as trading her at the sacrificial circle or giving her to another NPC character if you are a monstrous scumbag, that is. I... The mysterious man looks like a war veteran, almost. His right arm seems to- Oh, come on! My face will- <laughs> My face, the fear and hunger. <laughs> the name is Isaiah. You could call me a veteran of these dungeons. Some time ago, I found a manuscript concerning the ancient walls this fortress holds. There were multiple pages that were maps of sorts. I was able to locate a few of the map locations, and there were buried treasures hidden where the markers were set. A couple of the maps were a complete mystery to me, however, I can sell you the map. Who knows, maybe you can even find them. What in the hell? <laughs> At least we know where to go right now. What the f is going on? I apologize, but um, you can see tears forming around Doss's eyes. You're dead if you stay behind. Yes, you are right. Sorry, never mind. My head is just not in the right place at the moment. I'll psych myself back up. So did I basically, when uh, we lost the girl, was she too stressed? Was that what happened? You miserable mortal worm. You wish to use me? Chaos, pain, misery. Those are the reasons I was created. Do you want me? Yep. Very well. You take miasma with you. An otherworldly sword that oozes toxic gases. The sword is said to house the strength of six men. You know what, man? I'm not afraid of you. I have miasma, bitch. So you gotta, you gotta get it's uh, you gotta say. What? Who disturbs my sleep? Can't you see I've not retained my whole body yet, you insolent fool? I need more fresh blood for the ritual. <laughs> oh boy. It's fine. This is reload anyway. do this I can kill it this is the one I think we did reach a point though where I I've I've reached my limit it's organically progressing. Does that make sense? All right, now look, here's where you guys big brained it. Ready? You guys were all talking big. And last time I used the explosives here, remember? I brought the house down. Let's do it. Let's throw the vial. As long as we don't do it twice. The body has been cut into several pieces. Some of the markings on the limbs suggest that he was cut into food. There's a saw blade stuck in his head. You have acquired shark's teeth and a cooking you know damn well that the minute I sit on that, the game is gonna say, Congratulations, you just got into a different dimension and now you're sitting on a pile of people. There is no reason for a chair that nice to be in this area. I could have. But I'm curious. It's just a chair. Ah. It's a Castlevania reference. The chair is surprisingly comfy. You can relax here for a brief minute. This is what it must feel like sitting on a throne. The idea lingers to your mind that you came to these dungeons on your own free will. No one forced you to come here. You cannot quite tell what this organ is, but there are veins coming from it in burrowing underground. Seems like it's connected to something bigger. You cut the veins open, and some purple liquid seeps from the open cut. The organ stopped moving. Although you can still see some movement in the veins, suggesting that whatever it is connected to, this thing continues to live. 
Oh, you again. This is Inky. He's the dark priest and one of the playable characters. We met him once, but he was too busy reading. At this point, we have now met and talked to all three playable characters, which are Ragnvaldar, the outlander, Darce the knight, who is in our party right now, and Inky, the dark priest. And obviously, you can meet the mercenary should you not choose him as your playable character. We are at the gateway to the darkness. These are the last man that was you are about to see. To delve any deeper would be a suicide. <laughs> Look, he has a brain flower. Good boy. What? Why did that take me so long? Oh man, that's weak. His throat cut open. He has been dead for a while. This is the man you came here for, which means that your initial mission has failed. Das took a step closer to the man. No, this cannot be. Das seems to be trembling and terribly shaken with emotion. Are you okay? She clearly tries to keep her tears from flowing. Let's just leave this morbid place. P please, let's just leave. Your task in the dungeon is done. There is little to no reason staying here any longer. Well, mission failed. I was too slow. Oh, it's you. He has passed away, hasn't he? I thought he would have had a bigger role in the greater scheme of things, but alas. Of course, him passing away doesn't mean that what he started should come to an end. After all, you came to these dungeons because of him, right? The seed of what he planted continues to grow and branch. If you continue your descent to the darkness, you can understand what I'm talking about. Head down, and just maybe his death won't go in vain. There's certainly an interesting bunch of people gathered here today. <laughs> well, that's my two cents anyway. Take from it what you want. Bye. The stone statue is standing ominously here. It's too heavy to move. I have no idea where I'm going either. So that does make it uh, a little bit... I mean, obviously, that's the, that's the point of the game. How can something like this remain hidden from the world? I didn't realize what I got myself into when I stepped down into this darkness. These ruins give me terrible feelings. Something like this was still waiting for us. What else is there yet to come? Bars stand in your way. They seem to be too firm to bulge. You can hear some distant sounds echoing from the darkness. A terrible odor emanates from a distance. An intimidating figurine is blocking the doorway. You men, you are not worthy of passing through the gates of eternity in this tribunal. Suffer through your personal trials, torment, or the loss of your close ones. Only through this pain can you reach enlightenment and understand your place in the world. If you can go through all this without still losing your original goals and dreams, only then shall I let you pass. Ah, we need to find more... Hey, we've been here before! Ooh, thorned ring? Ooh. The book radiates light in every color of the spectrum. You feel like your journey has just begun, as if your existence before this very moment has been like watching someone else entirely. You feel a perspective shift in your surroundings, as if everything was to shrink, or perhaps you were to ascend higher. You gain a better understanding of yourself. The link between your mind and your body has started its deterioration. You feel closer to enlightenment. As you finish reading the book, it crumbles into dust before your very eyes. On my very first playthrough, I made it this far. I'm not, hold on a second. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 
Okay. There you have it. Fear and hunger. Ooh, it's a tough game. Ooh, Pete, be careful. Oh, you're going to have so much trouble. Come on. Done and dusted. Yes, I got lucky choosing dash and escape plan, but I didn't know that those abilities were busted. All I will say is this. If you're going to give me a challenge, can you at least make it hard? I'm not that proud. It's an amazing game. Very creative. What m is most astonishing to me is that one person made it over eight years. I was impressed. I, I not only was the game's theme themes, graphics, combat, music, all of this was really cleverly done or innovative, and I've never played a game quite like this. Kind of reminded me a little bit of an old SNES game called Seventh Saga, which was kind of vague in its missions, and it kind of had the same over-the-shoulder kind of character battle system, but this was something that I, I would highly recommend to not only RPG fans, but to people who are looking to try a unique game during the Halloween season or perhaps any time of the year. Fear and Hunger. Ha! Easy game. Next!